Investing in yourself. This has been something that I have really come to understand the importance of in the past couple years. I used to be super, super frugal because I dealt with all of my eating disorders and frugality is something that we often see in conjunction with restrictive eating. It kind of makes sense. You restrict in one area and that kind of transmutes into all different areas of your life. I restricted with intimacy. I restricted with pleasure. I restricted with my money. And so I didn't invest in myself. And as a result, I stayed stuck for so many years in these cycles and in these behavior patterns that were leading to poor health. And it was because I, I couldn't get out of it. I couldn't get myself out of it. Now, it wasn't until... I started actually finding support and actually putting myself in these spaces to be held and to be seen and to be guided did I actually start making improvements in my life in so many different areas. I'm talking outside of even eating disorder recovery right now. <laughs> off by saying something before we get going um, and this all ties into everything but I grew up in a very affluent place um, people here are very 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 wealthy um, my high school like driving to high school I had the shittiest car compared to like everyone else and I had a new car um, but it was just like a um, Equinox like Chevy right but everyone else around me had like a Porsche or a Lexus or a Mercedes like super super nice cars and that's what people were driving to high school as they were 16 year olds. Um, the friends that my family um, are connected with, are really good friends with, they have private planes, they are flying all over the world, they have multiple cars, huge houses. Um, that's just where I grew up and those are the people that I've been around my whole life. Um, and something that I have learned from all of these uh, people, a lot of these people who have just been very, very, very successful and built their own businesses, really, you know, gone from nothing to how having literally nearly everything and something that they um, have instilled in me over the years is the importance of investing in yourself. Invest in yourself, invest in yourself, invest in yourself, invest in your business. Like those are the first things that you invest in before you invest out is you need to make sure that you are in a good place, that you are emotionally stable and secure, that you are feeling grounded, that you are feeling like confident and like I can do this. Um, and they've really instilled in me over the years how important that is for that first step before you go out and try and build a multi-million dollar business. Before you go out and try and do all these things, you need to make sure that you've invested in yourself and that you are doing the work to make sure that you can embody um, the energy of a multi-million dollar CEO of a company, right? That is a hard work. You have to make sure that you are, um, that you have the emotional um, ability to be able to withstand that much pressure. And so I've learned over the years how important it is to invest in myself. And I, when I was really frugal, really just, mm, no. I, you know, even with my parents, my parents were so loving and they're like, we'll pay for your therapist. Let's go to a dietitian. Let's go do all of these things. Like we're giving you all the support. We pay for, you know, they paid for my treatment center, my inpatient. And I was like, I don't want any of this. Like, I don't want you to be spending money on me. 
And it's quite a shame because I'm sure that if I had really just allowed myself to go to all of these therapy sessions and not keep on just like, I would go to like three and then be like, no, I'm done with this person. Like, I don't want to do this, right? But I'm sure if I had really just allowed myself to continue with that investment, um, I would have come out with a good result. I would have um, healed from my eating disorders a lot sooner if I started really just being like, yes, I do want to invest in myself. I do want to get the help and the support that I need to go through this really hard mental health disorder that I am going through. Um, and it wasn't until years later that um, I started discovering how important that was for myself. Um, I currently now am a huge investor in myself, especially because I run a business. It's like, again, it's like I need to, um, I need to make sure that I'm in a good place in order for me to be able to be very present with my clients and with the people that I am helping in the world. Um, and so I personally invest in a therapist that I see twice a week because one session is like an hour of just like talking. The next session is a neurofeedback session. So she's hooking up my brain and doing neurofeedback. And that's been really helping with anxiety, with stress, with um, sleep issues and all of that. Like that's been helping a lot. Um, and... I, over the past couple years, have invested lots in, gosh, in my trainings and my certifications and my schooling and everything. And I've also invested a lot in coaches and in uh, workshops and masterminds and retreats and things like that. All things to help me become a better person, understand my emotional state, understand how to process through things, understand how to reach for those goals that I want to reach for. And the investments that I have made have just I mean, they've come back to me tenfold over the years. Um, and it's just been such a important part of my self-development and my growth is just investing in myself to help this growth process instead of always trying to do it on my own. Um, and so tying this into stuff, I don't want this to be too long, but I made a little reel uh, yesterday that was just like me pretty much like I was scrolling I'll play it for you but I'll say it first and then I'll play it for you but I was just like scrolling like this right on the uh reel just being like this and I was like this is me scrolling for like the cheapest eating sort of recovery coach and then it like flips and I was like but then realizing that like low you know low cost low investment is going to equal low results and I think this is super important to just mention and I talked about it on my Instagram stories today um but I wanted to mention it here because a lot of you guys have expressed a lot of interest in the get your phone course but then they're really turned off by the price of it it's a $1,200 investment which I understand is a lot. That is an investment. Um, but here's the thing, and I was telling just someone this the other day, I was like, if you want it to be $100, you're going to get $100 worth of quality. You're going to get $100 worth of transformation, which in my mind is just going to get you nowhere. This is a very, um, very serious and intense mental health disorder. This isn't just getting your period back. This is helping you learn how to rewire your relationship to food, helping you learn how to release anxiety and guilt from eating, helping you learn how to feel comfortable and confident in your body. This is shifting the narrative that's in your mind. This is helping you through new experiences, again, without that like abundance of anxiety that halts you from doing it. So this isn't just, hey, I put together a little slide that just says you need to eat 2,500 calories and you need to stop exercising. No, this is a program that is an in-depth mastermind like program to help you through this process of completely rewiring your relationship to food, body, and exercise. So it's not worth $100. It is worth way more than that. Um, and you got to look at like, okay, what am I getting from this? Sure, this is a $1,200 investment. But what am I getting? Oh, I'm getting a monthly menstrual cycle, which means I'm getting my fertility back, which means if you want kids later on, you can have kids. I'm getting my freedom back, my ability to be spontaneous, to develop friendships, um, to adventure, to just have 
all this free space now in my mind to be thinking about new things, which means, okay, I'm not thinking about calories and fat grams and macros and my body weight all day, which means you can now be thinking about that business that you wanted to create, or you can be thinking about um, the art that you are thinking of bringing to the world. You can be thinking about all these other things that are going to end up bringing back to you that investment tenfold, right? If I can be more productive at work, if I can handle a lot more, if I have the creative ability to actually be thinking about what I want to create and put forth in the world, I'm going to be getting back more money. It's an energetic thing, right? The more you put out, the more you get back in. And so the fear with my investments always was, I'm just going to give. And then it was like that fear of just like, now I just lost that. Like, no, you didn't just lose that. You just gained all these things that that thing is saying that it can bring to you. So sure, you let go of the $1,200, but you get back monthly menstrual cycle, food, freedom, a uh, strong relationship to your body. You get back your health, your strong metabolism, good digestion, deep sleep. You get back all of those things, your hair, if your hair is falling out, you get back your hair. And so it's starting to look at it that way and being like, hmm, okay, this is worth that investment. Someone uh, said the other day, I'll put it here. Um, she was just, she wrote me a little review of the course and she had said in the bottom line here, if I, and sorry, I don't have it right in front of me, so sorry if the wording's a little off, but she pretty much essentially said, if I had known what this course was like, I would have paid triple for it. Wow. That is saying, hey, this has brought me so much that I would have, I would have just paid more to make sure that I get myself here. And this is where we got to start shifting our minds with this of being like an investment in self is one of the most important things that I can do. It is not a waste. Don't let your eating disorder tell you that you're not worth spending money on. I know a lot of clients who are like, I don't even want to buy myself food because I don't feel like I'm worth spending, you know, 20 bucks on a nice, you know, steak dinner somewhere. They're like, I'm not worth that. I'm like, yes, you are. Now, I'm not saying go out and spend money that you don't have. But it's looking at everything and being like, what investments can I start making in myself? Can I every once in a while afford a $20 steak dinner? And being like, yes, okay, great. I, I'm going to give that to myself. Okay, that's such a beautiful energy being like, yeah, I love myself so much that I want me to get better. I want me to enjoy good food. I want me to experience new things. I want me to grow and to develop and to become better and better. And that's such an act of self-love rather than, oh, no, I don't deserve any of that. I don't ever want to work on myself. I don't want to get help or support. That's, a, that's such a negative energy towards yourself. And so the girls who have come into the course, they have you know, made this investment in their self, they have fully been present in the course, which is another thing to say, guys, like, if you spend $100 on the course, I kind of guarantee you that you're not going to go through all of it. Oh, yeah, I got through module one, and I kind of forgot about it, life got busy. Well, these girls, they're like, I got skin in the game here. I just invested in this. I'm going to be here, I'm going to be present, I'm going to be super, super present in the community, which a lot of them have been so present in the community, and they're giving it their all. They're like, I am here, I'm dedicated to this, I'm committed to this, and that is what you need for eating disorder recovery. That is exactly what you need. You need to be dedicated. You need to be committed. You need to stay strong. You need to, um, you need to push yourself every single day. And that's what the course provides. It's like, here, let's, let's get in this container where you're in this, you've invested in it. You got that little, you know, that flame underneath your butt here where it's like, okay, I'm going, I'm doing this. I put forth that money down to do this. And I'm going to get my money's worth out of it, meaning I'm going to do every module, every journal exercise, every meditation. I'm going to join every single eat with me and cook with me live or the Q and A's. I'm going to do every single workshop that Chloe puts together. I'm going to participate in all the conversations in the group community. I'm going to ask questions. I'm going to be present. I'm giving it my all. And oh my gosh, isn't that what we need for recovery to give it our all? A lot of you guys aren't making progress. And I know because I see this all the time, my clients, and it was also my own journey where it's just like, I wasn't ever really giving it my all. I, I wasn't. I, I was half, uh, what's the word? 
Not haphazardly. Is that the word I'm looking for? I was giving only half of my energy. I can't find that word right now. I was giving only half of my energy into my recovery. And it was almost like I was one foot in recovery, one foot in my eating disorder, and I would kind of like oscillate back and forth, right? You're never going to recover though if you are consistently going back and forth. You need a two feet jump this way. That's what's going to get you to recover, being like I'm pointed this way in the direction of recovery. This is it. That doesn't mean that, you know, you don't have moments of, oh, anxiety and falling back a little bit, but it is overall, I took this two foot jump into this right here. And so here's what I got to ask you. It's March. It's the middle of March by the time this video is coming out. And a lot of you guys made New Year's resolutions to get your period back, to have food freedom, to get out of quasi-recovery. And my question is, how far along have you come? Have you reached those goals yet? Have you gotten the period back? It's been three months. You can eat, you can get your period back in three months. I'm not saying everyone does, but it's totally a possibility. Get your period back in around three, four, five months. And so, has that happened yet? Have you had these shifts in viewing food? Are you able to now sit down with other people, go to restaurants, go out to parties and not bring your own Tupperware food? Have you been able to do those things yet? Because I'm telling you, the girls in the group have. They're eating bagels. They're eating celebratory donuts from graduating school. They're going out to restaurants and allowing their partner or the waiter to pick their food. It is amazing what I'm seeing going on in the group. We have uh, food challenges that come out each week. Last week it was to eat dessert after lunch. I know, I know, you might be like, <gasps> but listen, we walked through it and we were like, we're doing this as a group. So once one person posted a picture of like, I had a brownie after, and then another person posted a picture, I had chocolate after, oh, I had like a cheesecake after, I had this after, and everyone starts posting all their pictures underneath this challenge of like, this is what I did. And it encourages you to be like, hey, if Jennifer did it, if Maddie did it, if Susan did it, if Leah did it, if all these girls did it, I can do it too. And they're cheering you on and they're supporting you and it's like, yes, you can do it. And oh my gosh, this is a little bit scary, but I did it anyways. Thank you girls for like helping me to stay to my recovery goals. That's the power of investment, of putting yourself in a space like this. And so I wanted to just create this video again because there's been a lot of people who are like, I really want to take the course, but I'm really just like, that's a lot of money. And they're scared by that instead of like excited about the prospect of like, hey, that's an investment, that must mean that's actually gonna give me results. Because again, if I just charged you $100 and I created a course that was worth $100, you're not going to learn jack, mm. you're not gonna learn anything. You really are not. You're gonna learn everything that you can get from recovery articles. The course is in depth, it's way more. It's giving you back that investment tenfold. There are payment plans that I have created. You can pay just as little as $300 for four months to get the course. You can also reach out to me and we can work out with different payment plan if needed. If you need it like $150 for a couple more months, then we can do that as well. I want people to be able to make this investment because I know what you're getting back. Anyways, again, just wanted to clarify that for some people who were like, why is this so pricey? That's why this is pricey because I'm getting you actual results. And you can see from all my testimonials that I have like everywhere on my Instagram, you can see it in my highlights, I have it on my website, I've been putting these testimonials everywhere. The girls are making improvements and the girls are loving the course. Well worth the investment that they put into this. So you have to take a step back for those of you who are still in that frugal mindset, you have to take a step back and go, what's more important than money here? Me having freedom, me having health, me having my fertility back. That's way more important than a thousand bucks. Way more important. Gosh, people spend upwards of 90 to 150K on IVF treatment to have a baby. How many of those women, you know, are dealing with amenorrhea and they just go straight into that because that's what their gynecologist is saying to do. Hey, we're going to put you on birth control and we're going to do IVF when you want to get pregnant. Great, 100K later, like... Or invest in doing the hard work. 
get your period back, regain your fertility, and then just have kids. And I'm not saying IVF is bad. I'm not saying no one should do IVF. IVF can be a lifesaver for those who really can't have kids naturally on their own and they need that support. But I'm saying there's a lot of women, if you're coming from that amenorrhea state, that could have just gotten their period back. And you want to do that because then you're well nourished too for the baby because you don't want to just get IVF and then be malnourished. Now you're going to be super, super drained because the body's going to always prioritize your kid. So it's going to really pull all of your reserves out, your zinc, your folate, your magnesium, everything and give it to the child. It's what they do. It's what they do. They're little parasites in there. So you want to be really strong before that. So you want to make sure that you're nutritionally rehabilitated, which if you're nutritionally rehabilitated, you would have gotten your period back and gained your fertility back. So making these smart investments of I need to get this done so that I can actually be productive in my work, so that I can actually move forward with my life, so that I can get pregnant naturally, so that I can do all these things, I'm going to prioritize my healing and my recovery. And that is personally where I got in my journey was like, I need to prioritize this. I need to make sure that I am every single day taking a step forward in my recovery. Anyways, this video has gone on way too long. Invest in yourself. That is a thing I learned from all of these wealthy people. They said the best investment that I've ever made. It wasn't buying Tesla right when it started. It wasn't buying Amazon. It wasn't buying cryptocurrencies. It wasn't buying any of those things. The best investment that they made and that they continue to make is investing in themselves first. And so that's the video. <laughs> a little bit harsh. <laughs> wasn't trying to make this like harsh, but was just trying to really make it clear because I want you guys to see this in a different way. Because I know I've been seeing it in a different way and I'm like every time I invest in myself it's just like I get back so much. Like I took this wonderful like course, it was like a six week course called the Tantra of Life and it was all about conscious communication within relationships. Oh my gosh, that has saved my relationships so much. Learning how to just consciously communicate with people. That was stuff that I didn't pick up from any of their things online or anything. It was like, we are dedicated two hours every single Sunday. We're coming into this mastermind and we are discussing how to consciously communicate and how to develop a relationship that two people can grow together in. And that was like fascinating. I came out of that being like, I feel so ready for like a long-term relationship to really learn how to grow and to work with someone because I understand now the proper communication skills. And I'm like super stoked about that. I've been using it with family, with friends, with other partners and everything. Like it's been really, really fun to be able to now put what I have learned to take that investment and now see it come into my life. It's like it's changed so many things. So I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to sign off here because I got a client here in a second. So um, absolutely would love to chat with anyone who's interested in the course. You can sign up for just like a 15 minute call uh, for free, obviously, to just chat with me and let's discuss if the course is right for you. Um, you can also learn about it by clicking the link down below, read what other people have to say about it. And yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Mwah. Bye.